The Voyager 1 space probe, launched by NASA over 40 years ago, has embarked on a journey unlike any other in human history. Initially, it was expected to operate for just five years, a short mission by the standards of space exploration. However, Voyager 1 has not only exceeded this lifespan but has defied expectations in ways that few could have imagined. Over the decades, it has sent back an extraordinary wealth of data from the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond, contributing immensely to our understanding of the universe. Now, Voyager 1 has made an incredible new discovery that is poised to change the way we view deep space. In an unprecedented finding, Voyager 1 has detected 300 unknown objects passing through interstellar space. This discovery has astounded scientists, as these objects are believed to be plasmas from colossal star explosions that occurred millions of years ago. These objects could hold the key to unlocking mysteries about the nature of stars, supernovae, and the interstellar medium itself. The significance of this detection cannot be overstated. This is a breakthrough in our understanding of space that will likely take years, if not decades, to fully comprehend. This remarkable achievement is all the more impressive when we consider that Voyager 1 has been traveling through space for more than four decades. The probe's journey began in 1977 with a mission to study the outer planets of our solar system. At the time of its launch, the technology available to scientists was rudimentary by today's standards. Yet, Voyager 1 was equipped with state-of-the-art instruments that allowed it to capture invaluable data about Jupiter, Saturn, and their moons before continuing its journey toward the edge of the solar system and beyond. Since then, Voyager 1 has far exceeded its original mission parameters, sending back important data from a location over 14 billion miles away from Earth. Unlike past space missions that focused primarily on the inner workings of our solar system, Voyager 1's trajectory took it far beyond the Sun's protective influence, into what is known as interstellar space. In August, 2012, the spacecraft crossed the heliopause, which marks the boundary between our solar system, and the vast expanse of interstellar space. This milestone signaled Voyager's departure from the familiar environment of our solar system, and began its journey into the unknown regions of space, where the conditions are vastly different. However, this achievement did not come easily. As Voyager 1 traveled further and further from the Sun, the spacecraft faced significant challenges. One of the biggest obstacles was the reduced amount of sunlight available to power its instruments. The farther Voyager moved from the Sun, the less energy it received, which placed strain on the spacecraft's power systems. Voyager 1 is powered by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, or RTGs, which convert heat from the natural decay of plutonium-238 into electricity. Over time, however, the heat output from the RTGs has gradually diminished, meaning that Voyager 1 has less power to operate its systems. To ensure that the spacecraft continued to function as long as possible, NASA engineers made the difficult decision to turn off or deactivate several non-essential systems and instruments. This energy conservation strategy allowed Voyager 1 to stretch its remaining power reserves and continue transmitting valuable data back to Earth. However, as time progresses, these conservation efforts will have to become even more aggressive. Eventually, some of the spacecraft's core systems may need to be shut down entirely to keep Voyager 1 operational for as long as possible. Despite these challenges, the data that Voyager 1 continues to send back remains incredibly valuable. The distance between Voyager 1 and Earth presents its own unique set of challenges for maintaining communication. The weak signals that Voyager 1 sends require over 21 hours to reach Earth which is a massive delay considering the speed of light. Furthermore, cosmic background noise and interference make it difficult to maintain a strong communication link. Nevertheless, Voyager 1 has remained a reliable source of scientific data, continuously sending back signals even as it moves deeper into the unknown reaches of space. 
In addition to the challenge of maintaining communication, the temperature fluctuations Voyager 1 experiences as it moves through interstellar space present a threat to the spacecraft's sensitive instruments. While it was in the heliosphere, Voyager 1 was relatively close to the Sun and experienced higher temperatures, which helped keep its systems functioning. Now, as Voyager enters the cold void of interstellar space, it faces extremely low temperatures that could potentially damage its electronics. NASA engineers are carefully monitoring these temperature changes, constantly adjusting systems to minimize any potential risks. One of Voyager 1's key scientific instruments is a dust detector, which is designed to measure the density of interstellar dust particles as the probe travels through space. This instrument has provided scientists with valuable insights into the nature of deep space. The data Voyager 1 has collected about the dust and particles in interstellar space will help us better understand the structure of the universe itself, as well as the role that these particles play in the formation of stars and planetary systems. Despite these numerous challenges, the recent discovery of 300 unknown objects passing through interstellar space has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. These objects, which were detected as part of Voyager 1's ongoing data transmission, have baffled scientists. The objects are thought to be remnants of plasma from massive star explosions, known as supernovae, that occurred millions of years ago. This discovery raises several important questions, what are these objects made of? How do they travel through interstellar space? And, most intriguingly, could these objects provide evidence of new and unknown phenomena in the universe? The data Voyager 1 transmitted regarding these objects was not typical. Unlike previous transmissions that were relatively easy to decode, the latest batch of data appeared to be encrypted or scrambled. This anomaly has led to much speculation about the cause. Some scientists initially thought that the encrypted data was the result of interference from cosmic radiation or high-energy particles, which can sometimes disrupt electronic systems in space. However, after extensive analysis, it became clear that the problem was more complex. One of the most puzzling aspects of this situation was that Voyager 1 was still operating smoothly. Its communication systems remained functional, and the spacecraft did not trigger any of its protective mechanisms, which are designed to respond to threats. Despite the unusual data transmission, Voyager 1 continued to send back valuable information. This fact raised more questions than answers. Could the encrypted data be the result of a completely new cosmic phenomenon, something we had never encountered before? NASA's research team launched a thorough investigation to uncover the cause of the encrypted data. They first examined the possibility of cosmic radiation affecting the spacecraft's electronics. They also considered whether temperature fluctuations, resulting from Voyager 1's transition from the heliosphere to interstellar space, could have caused issues with its sensitive instruments. Yet, None of these explanations seemed to account for the strange data transmission. The team then turned their attention to Voyager's Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS. This system is responsible for maintaining the spacecraft's orientation in space, and it was discovered that an onboard computer that had been inactive for years had somehow been activated. This anomaly led to corruption in the transmitted data. Engineers quickly sent a command to Voyager 1 to switch to the correct computer, which resolved the issue and restored the clarity of the data. However, the long delay in receiving and responding to this problem posed significant challenges. With signals taking nearly 22 hours to travel to and from Voyager 1, any troubleshooting efforts were incredibly slow. The solution required careful coordination, and the use of old systems and manuals from the 1970s, as Voyager 1 was built decades ago. Through a combination of experience, ingenuity, and the use of current technology, NASA engineers were able to resolve the problem without causing any further disruptions to the spacecraft's operations. 
The importance of this mission, and the continued success of Voyager 1, is a testament to the hard work and dedication of those involved in its creation and maintenance. Despite the numerous obstacles it faces, Voyager 1 remains a powerful tool in the quest for knowledge about our universe. It continues to collect valuable data and send it back to Earth, enriching our understanding of the cosmos. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.